Okay, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the application uh, Candy Bar. Now, as you probably know, Candy Bar is an application that lets you change um, your icons for different applications. As you can see, I've already changed up Finder and I've made my QuickTime Player 7 look like QuickTime Player X. I've changed my system preferences and I've done a bunch of stuff. You can also change up folders and, like you see here, you can change up the dock appearance. Um, you can do a bunch of uh, different stuff with it. The one I have is a demo. I don't know what happens when the demo runs out, but we'll see. Okay, it's, it's a great app, by the way. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, when you first open it up, you're going to have to uh, type in your password. Then it's going to find your applications, or if you're on system, it's going to have to load the system icons. Uh, you know, let's just wait a second. See, it says 14 days left by now. I don't know what happens when the demo runs out. I hope I get to keep all my changes, but you know, whatever. It doesn't do this every time you open it. It's probably just because I'm doing a screen recording, you know being slower. This is just a PowerBook G4. It's going to be a little bit slower. Okay, so you have all your applications here and you already have a ton of preloaded uh, icons and they're all pretty good. And um, you could add icons by finding them on Safari. Now you can't just like save a picture. That can get really difficult. You have to like actually find an icon folder. And a good site for that is Icon Seeker. It's iconseeker.com. And you can just search up whatever icon you want. Let's say I want to change my frost wire icon. Mm, not much here, but I guess I'll change it to this. Let's see, and for Mac, you're, you're going to want to download the ICNS. It's going to start downloading. It's going to take like two seconds. And it'll automatically pop up the preview. And so keep the preview up. And so, uh, now if you want to like keep the these icons in here, permanently you can drag this little main icon thingy right here and then once an icon is down there you just you just uh you just drag it up to the icon you want to change it to okay then it'll say changes are ready to be applied and you have to say apply icons usually you have to type in your password Then for icons, you have to relaunch the dock. Okay, and my background just changed, so my dock is relaunched. And see, there's Frostwire all changed up. Now, and you can undo this just by dragging it out, and poof. And, you know, apply it again. Uh, let's see. There's another way you can do it. You don't have to drag it down here. You can just drag it straight to the icon. Thing. Now, from preview, it doesn't work like that. It, that, like, wait, hold on. Wait, that, that was like a set. Hold on. Let's try something else. This is like a single picture. Hold on. Yeah, okay. From preview, dragging it straight to the box, it doesn't work. But, um, say, like, some websites will let you download these icons but it'll download them in a folder and what you have to do is open the folder and like get one of the pictures out of there and then just drag it straight to uh whatever you know uh square whatever uh application you want to change there you go i don't really want that 
creepy little guy for my uh, finder. I mean, for a frost wire. Okay, and it's back. And let's see. You can also change up your uh, what's this called? system icons. So you can change up your uh, just general icons for like eject and burn and stuff. I've already changed up some uh, folder icons. See, I've already, I've already, uh, you know, changed it to these special little floating, you know, shadow effect folders, and they're pretty cool, and they actually worked. Let's see, and when you um, when you change something, when you change an icon in this section in the uh, system icons section, uh, when you uh, when you go to uh, set it. It, you'll have to log out and log back in. So, I don't know why, but... Anyways. And that's... This is also where you change Finder, is in this system. It's also where you change Finder under Dock Icons. I've already changed it to this cool red and gray thing. Dock is where you can... Like, uh... You could, all you have to do is drag an image into that little section right there, and it'll... Um, then apply it, and then... It'll give you a background behind your, uh dock and uh you can uh change like the setting on the dock you can make it like a 3d like that or you can make it simple like that i like a 3d when it's when it's simple you can't have the background i don't know why but whatever Okay, and on the volume icons, that's of course just changing your volume I icons, <laughs> duh. You could also change your volume icons from, well, I mean, not your volume icons, like, you could change, this is my hard drive, and you could change your hard drive icon also from here, down under device and under internal, and, uh, you can also change it from here. As you can see, it's like, I have the snow Lep I mean, the leopard X for mine, pretty cool. And um, another cool feature of Candy Bar is Quick Drop. All you gotta do is select a um, select an icon from in here, and then go to your Finder, Oops. Applications or Folder or whatever. Go down to the application or whatever you, you want to change, and just drag it onto there. And that's pretty much it. Now that doesn't that I'm having trouble with that. I think that might be part of the demo. I think I don't I don't know if you can do that with the demo or not. I'm kind of having trouble with it, but you know whatever it it works. Oh wait, nope, there it goes. See cross wire. Just takes a, it just takes a second. And I think when you do it like that, you have to drag this out and then drag it back from the applications. To reset it, or you can just click. Wait, yeah, you can just click on it and open it up, and it'll change to that. But you know, whatever. I, once again, I, I like the original Frostwire thing, and yeah, I can just undo that. I think, or not. You know what? I can't. Okay. Well, I'm gonna reset that back later to the old Frostwire thing, because that guy may be cute, but I mean, I kind of like the old frost wire thing. Well, that's pretty much this review of Candy Bar. It's a great app. Um, I guess in 14 days, I'll know uh, what happens when the demo expires. Uh, but, um, this is SniperJake1. Uh, keep watching my videos, keep uh, subscribing, and thanks.